Right, Daniel, thank you. The latest crime numbers now from 2016 show that more than 1,700 people were murdered around the United States that year. Tonight, family and friends took time to remember their loved ones during this, the National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims. They hope that coming together will raise awareness and honor their memories. Here's Lauren Thomas. My son, his last day on this earth was January 7th of this year. It's a group that no one wants to be a part of. I'm here to support my son, Deshaun Patterson. He was murdered in 214. With the support from the organization, parents of murdered children can help. This is a mother's worst nightmare. Tamika Allen's son, Davion, was shot and killed in January of this year. He was a father, he was a son, he was a brother. He was 21 years old, he was a good person. Unfortunately, sometimes the best people don't always make the right decision. While she is still looking for closure through the legal system, she hopes that she can find strength in those who understand what she's going through. I had no idea that this New Year's would be the last New Year's that I spent with my son. And it hurts. But throughout it all, God has kept me. Oh, my heart just goes out to these parents. Tammy Kelly understands Allen's situation as her son Deshaun Patterson was murdered in 2014. The men that murdered her son are now behind bars. And while she's reminded of her son's death every day, she appreciates being able to fellowship with parents in her situation. I enjoy getting with the mothers of murdered children because we all in the same boat. And the only thing we can do right now is just pray for one another, hold on to God, and just trust God. September 25th is National Day of Remembrance for Murder Victims, and these parents are continuing to honor their children, grandchildren, and loved ones one day at a time. Oh, hallelujah. In Columbia, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. Well, the South Carolina chapter of Parents of Murdered Children meets every Tuesday of the month at the Washington Street United Methodist Church in downtown Columbia.